Providing an inclusive and effective learning environment for students with an autism spectrum disorder requires a whole school approach. This will be evident in the active culture, policies and practices that exist in each school setting. This video features the insights of practitioners across Australia who are working to create positive partnerships where the whole school is engaged in meeting the development needs of students with autism. A whole school approach to me is about all of the people in the community being involved in decision making and goal setting. It involves the students, the parents, the teaching staff, the other staff, and it has to also come very strongly from leadership that you're working together to achieve. I think it needs to have a lot of trust involved, that, that all of those stakeholders need to build up a relationship of trust. Oh, a whole school approach definitely has a huge emphasis on building teacher capacity. Uh, without doing that, you are leaving teachers uh, struggling sometimes by themselves and, and learning without the support of, of their colleagues. Uh, this is a tough job and it really ta it needs and, and takes a whole school to get behind it. So we work in teams and we learn about what is best practice. We have a very collective uh, view about educating and working with the parents. Um, it is just totally a team approach and building teacher capacity in every respect. Well, I think it's when the school community are working, in other words, when they're planning and delivering and reflecting and evaluating, the conversations are always inclusive of children with special needs and, well, lately, children with an ASD. There's three levels of support at our school. The universals is the first stage and universals are for all children. It's good practices in terms of teaching practice, in terms of behaviour management expectations, and we look very carefully at the environment. If we get universals right, a lot of children have success. The secondary interventions are still undertaken in the classroom, but we utilise a number of teachers within the cohort to regroup children so that we're delivering programs based on their needs. And an example of that is literacy. A number of our children have low functioning literacy skills, so we've been able to target small group intervention approaches so that we're making a real difference to kids' literacy skills. The tertiary interventions are only needed when we need to give intensive support to children with ASD. And this is fluid and it's responsive to needs. So no one program for one child looks the same. At our school, a whole school approach is uh, basically built on parent partnerships. Without that, uh, the success for each child just cannot happen. It is the most crucial thing. So enormous amount of energy goes into getting to know families and children. So Kevin, I was wondering, I mean, how do you ensure that you make a, a whole school approach sustainable? Well, in, in my context, I had this uh, amazing person who was running the special ed, in, in, in particularly for the students with uh, ASD. We built up a culture in the place. There were enough people, mm. there were enough people in the school who were able to uh, sustain the stuff that had gone on. And I think um, there were people who uh, w were supported by her, coached by her. In, in being able to uh, deliver um, the sorts of things that she was doing in the school. I would find I'd have to do more than that in my, in my context. I would probably need to embed the culture into, I guess, frameworks within the school. Yeah. Um, for example, currently, um, uh, student, students with an ASD and special ed um, their transitions from the preschool to the school, from the school to the high school, are part of the strategic plan. Yeah. Um, currently we have a policy in place that if you have an ASD and you come to our school, there is a, um, a special enrolment process that may have you only coming for half a day yeah. and gradually building up while we do a risk assessment. Um, we have now a process in place where teachers must demonstrate in their programs and units of work reasonable adjustments. Yes. Having policy would be a real good guide, wouldn't it, to, um, to people who come after you.
mm. so that it's, it just doesn't go out the door with the expert or the, the, the star teacher or, or it doesn't go out of the school when the principal leaves. It it's actually stays behind and uh, can, can inform and can keep the, those good things going.